In this next tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at some of the basic features built into Microsoft Excel. Let's go ahead and start off by launching the Excel program. Um, Excel is part of the Microsoft Office suite of tools. And you'll notice when you open it up, it gives you a chance to uh, select a template or uh, create a blank workbook. Let's go ahead and uh, create a blank workbook uh, and we're going to be uh, reviewing uh, specifically we're going to be reviewing cell referencing paying particular attention to um, absolute versus uh, variable cell referencing and then we're also going to take a look at the uh, the autofill feature and some of the uh, useful properties built into autofill so as in every other Office program, we have the, uh, the ribbon at the top, which contains uh, the different menus and buttons that we can use to navigate through Excel. Uh, the Home tab is the one we are looking at now. So when we're working with Excel, um, just a couple of quick comments here about the, the navigation and uh, the, the screen itself. Um, you'll notice we have what's called a worksheet that comes up by default. Um, worksheets are uh, individual um, pages or sheets within Excel uh, where we can add um, different formulas and different, uh, different data. Um, if I want to uh, rename a sheet, I can right click on it and then left click mm -hmm. to, to hit uh, rename and we can just get something like table of contents uh, or you know maybe we want to call it something like um, class example and so uh, you'll notice that the the details I type on one sheet uh, do not show up um, on the other sheets unless I specifically uh, reference the values on the other sh other sheet alright so Excel by default has this um, row column notation. Uh, all rows are designated by a number and all columns are given um, a letter of the alphabet. And the active cell is indicated by a, uh, a rectangle. Uh, in this case it looks like it's a, it's a green rectangle. So when we are working with Excel and creating Excel formulas we need a, a mechanism to, uh, to, to refer to uh, a region or a, a set of cells or a specific cell um, in a given worksheet. And, and so uh, the way we refer to a, a cell or region of cells is, is through cell referencing. And um, to refer to a single cell, we just give it the, the column and row uh, combination. So right now, I have highlighted cell F2. Um, if I click in a, another region, uh, on the worksheet, I have cell I11 highlighted. And it's pretty nice. It'll tell me exactly what is highlighted in the top left corner as well. If I have a, a range of cells highlighted, so I just clicked and dragged to, to highlight a range of cells, um, the way I reference or refer to those range of cells is just by um, referencing the first cell. Uh, so in this case, it's F9 and then putting a colon after the first cell and referencing the last cell in the range. Uh, in this case it's going to be F17. So let's look at a, a few examples of, of how cell referencing comes into play. Um, let's just say I want to add a few numbers. So maybe I have 12 plus 36 and you'll notice to enter data all I do is um, highlight the cell uh, and start typing. Uh, and uh, you know, here I have um, typed in or entered three numbers by typing the value and then pressing the return key. Now, if I want to add or, or sum or create a, a total of these three numbers, um, there are several ways in which I can do so. Uh, first, there's this handy, neat little sum button uh, in the ribbon. I can just click on it. It's going to make a guess regarding what values to, uh, to total. I'm going to go ahead and enter because it looks like it selected the right values and now it creates the, the total for me. I'm going to add a few labels here. Um, so you'll see uh, Excel takes both text and numeric data. Um, uh, 
and we can just type in either one text or numbers um, you know obviously if we try and uh, sum or add together text uh, it, it's not going to give us um, a meaningful result so let's take a look at the the formula itself that I just created using the toolbar and with the formula itself um, you'll notice it has uh, two parts there's uh, the equals uh, portion um, which tells Excel a formula is what follows so I'm, I'm looking at the formula builder here at the top and then as um, then we have the the name of an Excel function which in this case is the sum function and then every function takes one or more parameters and so here the parameter for the sum function is just the range of cells uh, that I would like to total or sum so um, uh, that's it. As I mentioned previously, Excel contains uh, a number of different ways to accomplish uh, the same task. So, uh, in addition to using the uh, the sum function, um, we can also just um, use uh, basic calculator operators such as the uh, the plus symbol uh, to add the numbers to each other. Um, so here we see what uh, it's going to be cell F2 and then we type plus and then it's going to be cell F3 and then we do plus uh, and then the final cell is going to be cell F4 um, and then once I press enter it's going to give me the same total again it is uh, important to note that whenever you press the equals key so as soon as I press the equals button the equals key that is what tells Excel that I'm about to put in a formula and that tells Excel what follows is going to be a, a function or uh, the basic calculator operators one thing you should never ever ever do in Excel is um, hard code in the values you'd like to add or sum and so what I mean by this is uh, for example for the total here I could type equals then 12 plus 36 plus 48 um, you'll notice when I press enter I get the same total um, but this is never this is something you should never ever ever do and actually if you do this you're um, going to get you're actually going to automatically fail your Excel case and um, you know the reason why is that the whole purpose of Excel is to do what if analysis so that when we change values of one cells cell everything else updates so what I mean by that is let's say we change number 24 I'm sorry number one from 12 to 24 you'll see uh, the two totals down here update while this total does not so again never ever ever hard code values uh, you you should always try and um, only have a value entered one time and then anytime you need to to get that value uh, refer to it by its uh, its cell uh, reference um, you know we can also use the the sum function with a, a slightly different set of parameters so um, you know here it's get, it's showing me I can separate my uh, cells uh, by commas so I can do uh, F2 comma um, F3 comma F4 and that's going to give me the uh, the same total and this concludes the tutorial on Excel basics